Hello everyone, welcome back to another video. Today we're going to talk all about transportation here in Cambodia. How to get from point A to point B, uh, wherever you want to go. Whether it's in the same city or to a different city. I'm just going to run you through some different options. And uh, hopefully this little guide will help you when it comes to making a choice. But first, as always, I want to remind you that I have books for sale. And if you want to read any of the books... That you see on your screen you can do so at the link in the description you can help support the channel by buying a book or two or all five <clears throat> and if reading is not your thing and you still want to help support the channel you can do so by donating through paypal or ko-fi.com those links are also down below we love our supporters you're the reason we can keep making videos and uh, i want to say thank you so if you can and if you want to go ahead and check out those links as well so getting around Cambodia is pretty easy uh, I'm doing this from a uh, the a Siem Reap perspective so I can tell you that in Siem Reap you have no shortage of transportation options in town you have uh, tuk-tuks you have pass apps you have grab you know the grab app uh, you can also, if you're staying long term, you can rent a motorbike or you can buy a motorbike if you want to, you know, zoom around yourself. I'll leave that up to you. It does have its ups and downs. <coughs> uh, but I, I do prefer the big pass apps, the regular, or the big uh, tuk-tuks, the regular size ones because they are roomier and, uh, they're more breezy. The pass apps are a little bit less expensive, but you, you're all boxed in. <laughs> and uh, you can really only fit a couple people in there. So if you have a large group, you're probably going to want to take a tuk-tuk anyway, so you're not all squeezed in together, you know. But mainly I want to talk about uh, outside of the town you decide to stay in. Like let's say you move to Siem Reap. You want to take a trip to uh, Phnom Penh, you want to take a trip to Badenbong, you want to take a trip to Poi Pet, uh, probably here. You know, what are your options and how much does it cost? I will go from, uh, it, from my experience, what is the least expensive option to the most expensive option. And I'll let you decide how to proceed from there. So I think the least expensive option would be a minivan. Uh, they have these minivans and they go to any number of cities at different times during the day. Uh, the good news is that this is the least expensive option. You, uh, when I took one to Prava here, it only cost $5 per person, uh, which is pretty inexpensive. Now this is going to come with some downs, with some negatives, of course. Uh, first of all, these minivans are usually built for like six people, but they will pack double that amount in there. <laughs> that was my experience anyway. They, we, we had a full house. We had people coming in with their luggage and their, and you know, garbage bags filled with clothes and stuff. There might have been a live chicken in a cage and people had a baby and uh, you are shoulder to shoulder, you know, like the proverbial sardine can uh, squished in there. Uh, but it is a good way to get to know the locals. I was the only foreigner uh, in there. That's usually the way locals travel if they they need to get from place to place. Because it is, of course, like I said, only $5 uh, per person. So, very inexpensive. But I'll leave that up to you. I, I It wasn't the most comfortable or pleasant experience. Uh, and that van did, uh, my, but the one I took did stop an abnormal amount of times. Now, all of these options are going to have stops along the way, but this one seems to stop, I don't know, almost every hour for 15, 20 minutes, somewhere along the way. And uh, so it took a lot longer to get there than what it should have, and uh, I didn't really know why it had to stop that many times. Uh, but it's almost like a bus, I guess. Like, they'll just stop somewhere if somebody wants to get off at wherever they're going <laughs> along the way. Uh, but then he just seemed to stay there for a long time after the person got off or whatever. And I don't know, maybe he was hoping to pack somebody else in there. That's all I can think of. But that is an option for you. Uh, the next option would be the regular full-size buses, kind of like Greyhound buses. 
Uh, these are going to vary in price depending on which one you use and what time of day you're going and actually what amenities you want. Uh, Giant Ibis is usually well spoken about among the expat community. A lot of people like them. They're probably the, the best well known bus company here. Uh, to get to Phnom Penh on a Giant Ibis, it will cost between $10 and $15 and, uh, uh, per, per way. And it'll take, uh, they say, six and a half hours. But I would count on maybe eight, depending on different factors like traffic and, uh, you know, time of day and, and all that. Uh, the more expensive ones will have things like uh, free Wi-Fi on board and outlets and, you know, you, you might get some snacks and maybe a couple of bottles of water included in your price if you want that. Uh, the lower price ones will just be your basic, you know, just to get you from point A to point B, but they will have two or three stops along the way. So, you know, you'll stop at little roadside places and stores where you can get a snack and get some water, get something to drink, uh, what have you. So, uh, that, that's always an option. Uh, there are really no set prices for all the buses, so I'm doing this kind of a, from what I've seen online, just kind of a, a general idea of what you can expect to pay. And then you have the night buses, the overnight buses, and these are going to typically be a little more, but you do get all the all the uh, options. You do get the free Wi-Fi and the outlets and snacks and and, and beverages, you know, a couple of bottles of water, uh, and you also have the advantage of having a sleeper uh, bed, which is just like I said, your seat will turn into a little bed. They have a blanket and a pillow, so if you're taking an overnight bus, you can sleep the whole way if you want to. Uh, but typically these are going to be anywhere from 15 to 25 dollars depending on the bus line the, the the bus line you choose and the i and the options available so uh keep that in mind do your due diligence and if you book a ticket ahead of time it's it's just like booking a plane ticket ahead of time to go somewhere you can probably get a better deal doing it that way than just showing up at the terminal and you know just picking a bus that way but they're all good options I do not recommend going at night though a lot of seems to me from what I've read and from what I've heard a lot of accidents happen at night because the bus driver this might be their second trip and you're talking seven hours one way seven hours back and now they're doing another they're doing a double and uh, they fall asleep sometimes and you know yeah, so if you can't avoid it, I would avoid a night, an overnight bus, but uh, try to find a, a good one during, during the day, and uh, you'll be all right. It's still not that expensive uh, overall, and like I said, you pick the options you want, you pick the, the bus company you want, book a ticket in advance online, they all have a, there's a portal that you can go to, and then uh yeah, then you're all set. Show up at the bus station and show them your receipt. Get your ticket. You're good to go. Uh, now, the most expensive option is also probably the most luxurious option, of course, and that would be taking a private vehicle. There's any number of people who offer their big SUVs, uh, fairly new ones, with air conditioning and uh, they'll take you there like a, in a private car. Uh, these are typically going to run anywhere from 60 to $80 to get from like CM Reap to Phnom Penh per, per way. Uh, but of course the advantage is that you can stop whenever you want to, not necessarily at the driver's whim. Like if you don't want to stop, have them keep going. If you do want to stop somewhere, just say, hey, hey, look at this place. I want to check this out for a couple minutes. They They will... They will stop for you. <clears throat> uh, so that's an advantage. And plus, you're gonna if you're by yourself, you're gonna be the only other person in there except for the driver. So it's gonna be more like a just a nice, relaxed car ride. You're gonna have a lot of leg room. You're gonna have it all to yourself. You know, you don't have to worry about other people. Uh, so if you're more of a an introvert, <laughs> I guess you can say, that would be an option for you. And uh, and if you got a group of people, you know, let's say you got three or four people, uh, you can always share that expense. 
if you got three or four people and you're going on the same day from Siem Reap to Phnom Penh, let's say, and it's going to cost you seven, you know, eighty bucks, four people. Yeah, twenty bucks each. About what you'd pay individually for for a higher end bus ticket, an overnight bus. So, yeah, and then you'll be there with your buddies, friends, or whatever, and uh, it's a much more comfortable, I think, uh, luxurious kind of ride. So, that is your option. All right, so there you go, some transportation options here in the in Cambodia, especially Siem Reap. And be sure to check out all my links down below. Like I said, you can donate through PayPal or Ko-Fi.com, and we always appreciate it. We thank you very much. And uh, check out all the rest of my links, other channels vlogging from this part of the world. Their links are down below, and you'll want to check them out. They put out good videos, good information all the time. You don't want to miss out on that. And also my other channel, Horror Reads. If you like horror books, check that one out. I upload a video every three or four days on there. All right. From CM Reap, Cambodia, showing you the inside of my $50 apartment. I will talk to you guys in the next one. I couldn't get her to say hello. <laughs>